Okay, welcome back to the Simple Smoker channel. Thank you for coming back. Um, today, I've got some potatoes and an onion, which I should have cut up already. I am going to try my best at making a potato skillet, um, cheesy skillet. And welcome back to the Simple, Simple Smoking channel. Uh, th thanks for watching. Uh, today I'm going to make some uh, skillet potatoes, um, scallop potatoes. So I've got some potatoes that I've already chopped up. These are just russet potatoes. So I've already put some butter in the pan. So I'm just going to lay these potatoes down. Just lay them down all the way around and put some layers layers of potato on here I cut these up ahead of time and yes I cut them all up by hand <laughs> I'll put a couple more in there there we're gonna make one layer then we're gonna add a little bit of pepper And a little bit of salt. Not too much though. And then we're going to put another layer. I've got some uh, chopped yellow onion that I'm going to put in between. Put some extra flavor in there. Basically I'm just layering the potatoes and onion and salt and pepper. Get a nice thick, almost like a pie. Yeah, doesn't have to be too even, just kind of spread them around. Some of these slices are thinner than others. Put a little bit more pepper. Just for some seasoning. A little bit more salt. decent amount of chopped yellow onion. I know this onion looks white, but it was yellow. Okay, we'll put some of that in there. And I also have some green onion that I'll, I'll throw some of them into. We'll get, we'll get another layer. Now this was four large russet potatoes that I cut up. And I know I have this large cast iron pan, so it should be enough to fill it all up. Try to get some more on the sides. It smells really good actually already. bit more pepper and a little bit more salt and get some more onion going on in here and get some more green onion because who doesn't like green onion I guess there's some people that don't like it but I'm not one of them and I'll put the last this potato. On top. Okay, add in our final layer. And we'll just do the same thing a little bit of black pepper and even less salt. Not quite all of this. I got too many, too much onion here, so I won't use all of it. But then I'll put some more green onion. And 
And then we'll take this, and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take some half and half cream. And we're just gonna fill it up. Now, this wasn't quite enough in that one, so I have another one. Fill this up really good, right up to the top. Then when I'm done with that, we'll take it out to the smoker and smoke it until the potatoes get nice and tender. When they start getting tender, that's when we start adding the cheese. And there will be a lot of cheese. So I'll go get the smoker ready and I'll bring this outside and we can continue this cook. I'll see you then. All right, so we're back outside now. As you can see, I've got the potatoes on the grill. Uh, charcoal, oh, just waiting for the chimney to heat up. Um, so now that I'm out here, I got it on the grill, I am actually going to add some cheese. All in all, we're going to add quite a bit of cheese throughout the cook. That's pretty good for now. So I'm just gonna spread that around a little bit. Then once the smoker actually gets up to temperature and that cheese starts melting and most of the cream is kind of burned off, I'm gonna put some more cheese and I'm gonna put some tin foil over it. Um, give it a little while, make sure everything's nice and creamy. And then I'm gonna add a lot more cheese and then take the, take the tin foil off and let it kind of brown over. So we'll come back when you know, some of that has started to happen. I'll see you in a few. Okay, welcome back. It's been about 45 minutes. Let's see how our potatoes are doing. Ooh, it looks like they're starting to brown. Let's check. Uh... Oh, they're still pretty, pretty hard. So I think, uh, I think at this point, I'm going to uh, cover them with tin foil and you know let them keep cooking um yeah so i'll do that and come back in another 30 minutes or so check it later okay welcome back it's been another 45 minutes so let's take a look at our potatoes let's see what these guys look like oh yeah they're looking good looking good not that you can see it, because I have the camera pointed elsewhere. <laughs> let's try, let's check for some tenderness here. Oh yeah, they're getting there. They are getting there. They're getting there. So I think, I think I'm going to add some more cheese. And then put the foil back on. And come back in maybe another 45 minutes and see where we're at. Alright, I'll catch you then. Okay, so these potatoes, these scallop potatoes, are definitely done. I uh, just took them off the grill, put them here, it's cooling a little bit. But, um, I'm tempted to just dive right in. So I might, oh, this smells amazing. It's so cheesy. Try to make it like a pie slice here. Oh, I have a feeling I'm gonna make this multiple times. Definitely did not come out like a pie slice. But it's cheesy, potatoey, full of onion, full of flavor. Look at that. That looks amazing. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Uh, please like and subscribe. Thank you. Have a good one.